All right, welcome back to part 23 of my very first and ongoing Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We are going out to see how everyone is faring after what happened in the last part. But before we do that, I just want to say that if you are enjoying the channel and this Let's Play, I would indeed love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And for those of you who just did, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, it's super cool that you are here following along anyway. And as per usual, there will be no general chit chat during gameplay, just comments and information. We must hurry back to Brisk. Yuland can take us. Y'all ready to sail then? Assuming you're all done here, of course. Yes. Great archives. The Archivist. With the resurrection of the Dweller of Strife announcing a reign of terror, thought forever gone, hope appears slim for a world with only three solstice warriors left. Veil of lies now lifted and part of their innocence left behind, our heroes head back to Brisk, while their headmaster searches for a way to reach Mesa Island. Committed to helping the Cataclysm survivors, they will soon dive headfirst into the eye of the storm to confront a legendary ancient curse. Town of Brisk. The dweller crashed right in the middle of town. It's rice over there. Belair, sorry we're late. Let's do this. These are way stronger than what we fought in the mansion. This Dweller of Strife really must be formidable. No clips anytime soon. There's gotta be a way. Let's clear what we can. Dweller must have crashed somewhere. We have to find it. Villager. Please don't eat me, please don't eat me, please don't eat me. Hey, you're safe now. Find your land at the docks. Her group will keep you safe. Solstice worries. We want to be praised. Please help the others. Kinathan, we will protect these villages, or my name is not Kinathan. Thanks again for saving me. Merchant, we lost almost everything in this cataclysm, but if there is anything you need to buy, 
that the journey will use the money to rebuild. Well, Trey, hey pal, any other villages you find, just send them right to us. Don't you worry about us, we can fend for ourselves. Thank you, I was certain I was going to die here today. Can you get the dogs on your own? People are gathering there while we take care of the monsters. I, yes, I can make it. Thank you, I wish I had more to offer. Got Tomato Club.
I'm stuck behind this big block that fell. Can you move it? Ooh, that was close. I should head for the dogs. Thank you so much. Here. Got mushroom soup. All those innocent people. Hmm. How big is this thing? Villager. Hey, your souls are worse, aren't you? We've cleared out the monsters. It's over for now. The big one flew away might come back. Wah! Carl, don't worry about it. My friends here are stronger than the big monster. Really? Totally. Wah! It's safe here for now. Please gather at the docks with the others. 
We're not giving up on you. We'll figure this out, I promise. So, thank you. I hope my brother is okay. We can't stay here. Where are we going to go? We need to find new lives for ourselves. I was born here and I will die here, just like my ancestors. We can rebuild. I'd rather move somewhere new. Ah! Okay, hold tight while we figure this out. What should we do here? Clearly some of them need to move on, but... There's too many of them for the sand. Plus, that town already has its own healing to worry about. Zale, Milan, are there any other places you can think of? Aye, reckon a fresh start to be used what some of them need. Kinathan? Hmm, how about the small island to the northeast? Oh, the unclaimed one that's filled with pine trees? That could work. Precisely. We know the way, but the Oakum Skiff won't get us there. Gotta hit the open sea for that, so we'll need a proper ship. Okay, that's a good lead. <clears throat> and good news, everyone. We know the perfect place for those who wish to leave Brisk and start anew. Yay! Does anyone have a ship we can borrow? Yolan. Listen, bud. Practicality is my middle name, but this here port is total. That leaves but one option, it would seem. Oh, I like where this is going, pal. Well then, speak up, tall guy. <clears throat> we claim the Vespertine. That's a negative, matey. Ain't no pulling that trigger without the captain say so. Captain Cliche. Keen of Van is right. The time has come. Ahoy, Captain. We thought you gone. Hmm. Will this ship be good enough to carry settlers to the island Yulan mentioned? Look alive, son! The Vespertine could even sail the sea of... Yulan! Uh, apologies, Captain. It'll take us there, guaranteed. Okay, so what's the plan? The boat is cursed, isn't it? In fact, that's the easy part. All we gotta do is get on board, meet the owner and let the captain buy the ship using the coin of undeath the cords you all fetched earlier. <sighs> a sound plan. Without even breaking a sweat. <clears throat> well, see about that. For now, we hike to the peninsula and wait. As dusk falls, the Vesper team will appear for but a brief moment. The window is short, so we must jump aboard without hesitation. All in a day's work, Captain. So pumped for this. The three of you are not coming with us. Captain? If we don't make it back, you must find another way to help the villagers find their new land. No way! We've been prepping for this forever! Our end goal remains the same, but for this step I need you to stay safe. Can you do that for me? I will do as the captain commands, or my name is not 
Keener fan. Aye, aye, Captain. Can we at least see her safely to the peninsula? Hmm. Of course. Let me know when you are ready. I still can't believe what happened. It was so sudden. Solstice Warriors, I wanted to thank you again for saving me earlier. I heard you helped villagers too. Please accept this small reward. Got Mushroom Suit. I lost everything. I can't stay here anymore. There's we have no home anymore. Oh, what to do? That was too scary. At least we have our work cut out for us. Risk is not all lost, we just need to work together. All gone in an instant. But Risk is strong, we will rebuild. It is truly exciting to be nearing the payoff from all our attempts to get the Coin of Undeath Accord. It will be a transaction for the ages. Eh. Uh, at least, the at last, the Vespertine. Are you ready to leave? Yes. Peninsula. And then he went, Behold the pain of everlasting sin, and turned it some half something form with a beautiful face blowing softly on an apple with feather feathered wings. What happened next? Shocked about twenty six of the elixirs we had been saving for later, and eventually we won. Huzzah! A valiant battle. Um. Get ready to jump on the next flash. Oars, Captain. Keep the villagers safe until our return. Can do, will do. Safe journeys, Captain. Everything happening, it seems there will never be time to explain, so... Achievement unlocked. Who would have thought? Learn Captain Cliché's true identity. Sarai, please don't tell my crew. Sarai, he's sort of new already. Then why didn't you say anything? You're clearly on our side. It's all that matters. Yeah, whatever your reasons are, they must be good. Oh, and thanks for spending the coin to save me. I... We agreed to let you keep your secret, but it's good to see you trust us now. 
Man. I'm sorry. I should have... It's okay. We're a team now. So you understand claiming the Vesper team won't be as easy as we thought. Yep. And it just so happens we owe you one, so all the better. Hmm. Thank you. Now! The Vesper team. Chief Fools! The Vesper team will return to the Sea of Nightmare any second. Get off right now! I saw someone and then... Welcome to the Sea of Nightmare. Nice going, binding your souls to an ancient pirate's curse like that. He hello, we uh, plan on claiming the ship for ourselves. <laughs> now that's a good one. And how do y'all plan on doing that? Um, These two are solstice warriors. Pardon? They can use solstice magic. No creatures immune to it. Solstice magic, huh? How does such a coincidence? You're another hallucination, ain't you? Brace! Alright. Stormcaller has sensed your presence. I suppose this makes you real. So you're the one known as the Navigator? Horton, Speed and Aid. Use it. Can't imagine how y'all ended up here, but it's a relief someone can finally fight those things. You mean the Ghost Pirates, aren't they? My former crewmates? Aye. Going along with mutiny, they'll do you in like, like little else. Well, I suppose investigating mutiny is worse. Sometimes I wish I was also made an undead of the brainless sort. So, your former captain, this Stormcaller, how can we stop him? If the last couple centuries have taught me anything, it's that we can't. See, the curse only has two possible outcomes. Either Stormcaller gives up, or I let the Vesper team sink. By the looks of it, neither is happening anytime soon. What if we fought him? Huh? Look alive! Stormcaller will be the most formidable wind mage the world has ever known. We can hold our own in battle. Oh. Ricky can beat a grudge so strong it managed to parallel a nightmare realm in which to torture a crew for all eternity? Uh. Look. If y'all are foolish enough to wag your swords at him, I won't stop you. But first, this wind barrier needs weakening. Where do we begin? There's three lightning rods sending power back to the maelstrom where he shines this never ending storm. Y'all want to confront him, that's the first step. Where are the rods? Even if I know, ain't no way to tell which way is up in this nightmare. Okay, how about this for a first test? My map should be below Dick's in the kitchen past the crew quarters. If y'all can fetch it and return live, I'll entertain this plan of yours. One map coming up. The Vesper Team. My map should be below Dick's in the kitchen past the crew quarters.
And I think this might actually be the place where we end off this part. See you in the next one. Thank you all for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I certainly am. I would love it if you hit those like subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.